Oh, aloha everyone. My name is Josh Wolfie, and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. So, the, I played the early access version of it way back then. We played it like uh, a year ago, and then now we come back like a month ago, and now it's fully released. So, because this is a long story kind of campaign, uh, RPG kind of thing, so. For this one, I'm just gonna focus on just the story mode stuff. Yeah, just just the story stuff. Because right now I'm playing with like, three of my other friends right now in tactician mode, so that's my tactician mode. So that's why, for me, I'm just gonna focus on just the story mode stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna choose explore just because I'm just gonna be recording just the story, which I will not be talking during the entire time. Unless I do like intermission between the story modes of my sharing my progress, my little progress report pretty much. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So right now, like I said, I'm just, I got tactician already with my group of friends. So all I'm doing is focusing on the story stuff. So explore, so I can just play. <laughs> I want to have a good time, okay? All right, like I said, I won't be talking during the story mode stuff. Unless it's an uh, intermission mom um, video, then I will put between just to tell, like, tell my progress report. Alright, and I hope you guys enjoy.
Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Ugh. My head. What is this? Squall. You are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Of parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. It could even transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. 
We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kanyank. <laughs> with the geek after we escape. It's clear. Hurry, before they strike. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure.
No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. Don't we? I saw you on the ship. Free. Scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those... Tentacle. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Aha. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a Mind Flayer ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced.
Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. And it looks like we're both starved for answers. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. She's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Danae's? Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. You've but one chance. Join me or die. Coward. Fight. Breathe, Nymessa. You did great. Now come. We have a blast to investigate. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And mind the goblin traps. Unless you relish a spit roasting. <laughs> 